Following an incident this morning in the chamber, Mr. Schulz wishes to make a personal statement. Mr. Schulz, you have the floor. Thank you very much indeed, President. Thank you, President. During the debate on the European Council, an incident occurred. I don't want to elaborate on that incident because I was the target of an insult. Now, there are various levels on which I can't be insulted and which I don't feel as an insult because you really have to actually have a certain degree of passion to your insult for it to actually affect me. But I would like to express my thanks for the innumerable signs of solidarity that I have received. I'd like to thank colleagues from all political groups. That is a sign of our shared democratic and European values because the vast majority of members of this House share them and thank you very much for that. The, um, the, um, no, no, no. The incident, the incident referred to, thank you. The incident referred to was a protest by Mr. Bloom in which he made war wartime allusions uh, of Mr. Schultz. And the President said this was unacceptable and invited Mr. Bloom to apologize. Mr. Bloom did not apologize then, and I call on him now to do so. And if he does not do so, he must leave the chamber. Mr. Bloom. Yet again, yet again, there is one rule for Herr Schultz and one rule for everybody else. This is a disgrace. I have been elected, re-elected, to vote in this chamber by the people of Yorkshire, your own constituency, I might add, with a democratic mandate, which you do not enjoy, Mr. President, yourself, because you switched parties and they voted for the Conservatives. I have no intention of apologising. I have no intention of leaving this chamber. You must have me escorted out, sir. <clears throat> First, first of all, <clears throat> Mr. Bloom, I was expelled by the Conservative Party for making a stand on a point of principle closely related to the issues you raised this morning. <clears throat> Secondly, you have not apologised for language which is wholly inappropriate to the European Parliament, and I ask you to leave. Mr. Bloom, no, I'm not taking, I'm not taking, I'm sorry, I'm not taking any points of order on this. No, 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 no. If I, 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 I have a proposal to make. I can ask the security services to remove Mr. Bloom, but I intend to put it to the vote. Is it the wish of the House that Mr. Bloom should leave? Those in favour, please raise your hands. Thank you. Those who wish Mr. Bloom to stay, please raise your hands. Those abstaining. Now, Mr. Bloom.
I will accept one statement from Mr Farage, the group leader of this group. Mr President, the reason for the anger and the noise is because we're not actually applying the rules of this place evenly. Mr Schultz has repeatedly thrown insults, not just at me, but at mem many members of this House. He, he said that the Eurosceptics, the no voters, opened the door to fascism. We've had Danny Cohn-Bendit calling us mentally ill. Can we, Mr President, if, you know, if the rules are that something is deemed to be an insult, a member is asked to leave, that's fair enough. But the anger, and I share that anger, is these rules are not applied evenly. Mr Schultz regularly calls other people fascists, and when he's called one, the member in question is asked to leave. That isn't right. That isn't fair. <laughs> Mr Farage, I don't want to prolong this. I don't want to prolong this, but can I just make the observation that this is incorrect. What Mr. Bloom said in two interventions, one from the floor and one from his place, both were heard by many people and both were unacceptable in parliamentary terms. The House wants Mr. Bloom to leave. That's its expression. If he does not do so, people will infer from that his attitude towards the democratic process. Mr. Bloom, I'm going to invoke Rule 152. If you will not leave, I'll have you removed. I've discussed this with the President, he, uh, and I have his support for this. Right. Thank you. Mr. Dole, you wanted to intervene. <clears throat> Monsieur, Monsieur le President. 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 If you would allow what I said this morning, it's unacceptable the way in which Mr. Bloom has behaved. Secondly, we're in a democratic parliament. We decided democratically, Mr. Bloom, that you should leave the chamber. Please do have the honor that the request of Parliament be um, obliged and please leave the chamber. Please, in respect of the rule of democracy. Mr. Golnish. There's no reason for you to call upon me. We know what your methods are. They're not acceptable and they're not democratic. That's all I have to say. Under Rule 1524, I regret that this incident is obstructing the good business of the House. I therefore intend to suspend the sitting for five minutes. The sitting is suspended for five minutes.
I will get the president to make a statement. Point of order, tell me. I have 